Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic, we're going to talk about a dangerous animal. All right? Now when we think about a dangerous animal, what do you think about? Well, there's tigers, there's bears, snakes, sharks, right? These are all very scary animals, yes. But they're a little bigger than what we are talking about today. Today's animal is dangerous but it's also very small all right so sting of terror sting is when a bee like it stings you and it hurts and terror means something that's very very scary right frightening fall or autumn is the season of plenty it means there's a lot of things in autumn there's a lot of animals there's a lot of trees a lot of change going on that means scary things are coming too right so good things are coming and scary things are coming they go together wasps are here what are wasps we know what honeybees are right honeybees they make honey they pollinate trees i mean flowers and they go around collecting nectar um, however wasps are bigger than bees and they might look similar but they're quite different right they can sting you many times and when they sting you it hurts a lot and they're also yellow and orange and black just like honeybees uh, wasps build their hives or their house this is a hive it's a wasp hive in dark cool places near our homes right so they don't like it when it's very bright and they don't like it when it's very hot they like it you know dark and cool these insects are fierce predators predators are animals that kill other animals like lions are predators cheetahs are predators people are predators fierce means very very strong they're very strong predators these agile hunters Agile means they can move very quickly. Uh, rabbits are agile, snakes are agile. Uh, big animals are not agile. They're very slow, but an agile animal can move very quickly. Hunters will eat almost any pesky insect. Almost all insects, uh, these wasps will eat them, will hunt them. They eat grasshoppers, aphids, Aphids are small like fruit flies, uh, flies and bees. They also eat nectar, tree sap, fruit, and some of them feed on or even eat human food. So if you go on a picnic and you're eating chicken, these wasps will want to eat that chicken. They love to eat almost anything around them. That's why they are fierce or very strong predators. They're strong hunters. Wasps are very dangerous, so stay away from them, right? So again, if you were to see any of this, or if you see a hive, then quickly tell your mother or your father, okay? Don't go trying to touch them or saying hi, just get away from them. All right, we have three review questions here. A, wasps build their blank in dark, cool places near our homes so they're building their house right birds they build a nest uh, people they build houses well wasps and bees they build something that we some we see in trees it looks like a honeycomb uh, it is a hive that's their home for the wasp and the bees b wasps are fierce blank so fierce again means very very strong and wasps they hunt other animals they like to kill other animals and eat those other animals and those kind of animals like wasps cheetahs lions crocodiles sharks we call them predators predators hunt or eat other animals see wasps will eat almost any pesky blank pesky means something that's bothering you it makes you angry it makes you hurt it makes you itchy it makes you 
uh, annoyed it wakes you up uh, these things that fly around and jump around and have wings and usually have six legs we call them insects or bugs right so if you remember like flies and cricket and grasshoppers all these small insects that fly and jump around well they will eat them all right we have three review grammar questions here a fall is the season blank plenty right so what we are trying to say is in the season of fall right inside the fall or autumn or car in that season there's many many things right so when we are talking about something is inside something we say of now what do i mean by it is inside something what i want to say is it is making up or is the smaller parts of something so for example um, sleeping is a I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the subject, okay? Sleeping is the time of rest. So why are we sleeping? It's because we want to rest. We want to relax, right? I'll give you another one. School. School is the time of studying, right? Why do we go to school? To study, right? What do we do inside this eight hours of school inside is all studying 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 right B some wasps feed blank human food right what we want to say is they eat human food feed means they eat it right and feed it has a partner feed and this word on they usually go together so we can say cows feed on grass chickens feed on corn people feed on I don't know tteokbokki and ramyeon right so this word it means what they are eating uh, cats feed on fish see wasps are very dangerous so stay away blank them right again these two are usually partners together same thing with talk I talk to my friend we don't just say I talk friend we usually say I talk to my friend or talk with my friend or give right we don't say I give friend is I give to my friend I give to my mom right so certain verbs they usually have a partner preposition and from this one away it is from away from so we have to stay away from knives we have to stay away from dangerous things we have to stay away from fire right okay so today we learned about very dangerous insect predator really called the wasp and how can you tell it's a wasp well if it looks like a honeybee but it's a lot bigger and it's you see like a hive in the tree then you really should stay away from them all right so thank you for joining us today for kids times my name is chris from reading town i'll see you next time